Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Death and Destiny. I am Death from Above. Today we're going to bring you a Legendary Max video in the Crucible. So this could also be considered a Crucible performance review. But it's also a Legendary Max video. We're going to dance it out at the beginning. So, this gun you see in my hands is not the Red Death. It's not the Red Death. It's the Red Spectre. It is a prototype for the Red Death. Now, this gun is very, very interesting because one, it's got a bayonet on the end and it's red, which is awesome. But two, the stats on it are a little, a little ridiculous. And I just got this this morning. I've been playing with it all of today and I'm really enjoying it. If I could hit him, if I only could hit him. So this is a kind of a mid, a mid rate of fire, mid impact auto rifle, but it's got some pretty decent impact and the rate of fire is pretty decent too. We'll take a look at it in a second. Let's get another kill with it. Ooh, come on, buddy. You know you want some. Oh, I love auto rifles. Oh, I love auto rifles. Oh, don't get shot. Don't get shot. Don't get shot. Okay, guys. We're just standing in the corner. We're going to dance and we're going to look at the auto rifle that is the Red Spectre. So, the Red Spectre reads, rumor has it, that Red Death prototypes are circulating in the Crucible once again. I did get this from a Crucible drop on the loot screen at the end of a Crucible match this morning. I was doing the daily PvP. I was doing some Rift. And this gun just dropped. And I was like... So, I remember when I had uh, Destiny first started, they sold Red Death the first or second week from Xur, and I really, really wanted it. Really, really badly wanted it. And I was like, man, I really want that Red Death. Well, guess what? Week two, <laughs> week two of the Taken King, and I get the Red Spectre from a Crucible drop. I'm dead, aren't I? Yeah, I'm dead. That's fine. We're talking about the Red Spectre. We're doing a zone control, so kills don't really matter. So, let's take a look at the Red Spectre and talk about the perks. The rate of fire, like I've just showed you, is pretty, pretty decent. It's not the highest rate of fire, but it's not a low rate of fire at all. The impact is higher than any any other auto rifle, except for the Questing Beast, which is a low rate of fire, high impact. Uh, but look at the mag size. The mag is 25, our Red Spectre is 32. Uh, Paleo Contact doesn't even come close. Rate of fire is the same. Mag is about the same size, but the impact is much less on the Paleo Contact. Um... And then this Suros I have, much less impact and range, more stability, but the rate of fire is the same. So this thing could be a monster compared to the Red Death even, which is a pulse rifle. And it beats that on impact and rate of fire too. The range on the Red Death is not even as good either. So mine specifically, uh, it is kinetic. You can infuse it. I've got this one dropped for me at 299, so I'm pretty happy with it. It's going to be hard for me to to best that with anything but raid gear and even then I might just infuse this with the raid gear we'll see it'll have to be pretty something something pretty special but mine drop with the red dot which I am a fan of I like this red dot scope I also like that long long scope for PVE uh, let's see if we can get a kill there will be dude standing here uh, your own team I'll take that heavy ammo what did y'all see that rocket just hit him and nothing happened? We won't talk about that. We're here to talk about the Red Death. I mean the Red Spectre. So, it's got the uh, got this sight. That, that's my favorite auto rifle sight right there. So I was happy with that. It's also got this sight, which uh, I haven't even looked at. What, what's that like? That's kind of cool. It's a really short range, easy handling sight. It snaps in pretty quick. I like how the sights give you some, some snappiness. Oh, you're dead, son. You can see it does 20 to the head. Uh, I don't know some some team to the body. I haven't even I'm gonna get headshots with it, so I don't know. I only get headshots, guys. That's all I get. We'll get some body shots. Uh, 16 to the body, 20 to the head at the right range. Ooh, okay. I was being pushed. It's like, why am I going so fast? So let's go back to the site that I like, and then we'll look at my main talents on my gun. I've got replenish, so when you cast a super, the mag will be refilled. Speed reload, which is cool. Appended magazine, which takes the mag up to 44. And then small bore, what I keep it on. I like getting the uh, the range, stability, and reload up as much as I can. And the reason I like it for PvP now, it's got third eye. Third eye on an auto rifle in PvP. Uh, now, I could do without the replenish, but everything else is pretty sweet. Um, if I want ridiculous reload, I can get speed reload. If I want a bigger mag for PvE activities, I use a pendant magazine. Right now, I'm using small bore with the red dot sight and the third eye. The third eye comes in very handy in PvE and PvP, so you don't even know until you've had to use it there. You can see the, the damage drop off is pretty pretty decent even from that range. I'm already starting to get damage numbers dropping off. So normally it does 20 to the head, I was getting 19. So auto, that's just a general auto rifle change that happened now. So it's definitely an up close gun. For this type of map, 
in this type of match, it's a pretty good one. Um, oh, Sunbreaker. <clears throat> he broke me with his son, but I got the I got the last laugh on that one. So, like I said, this is maybe my second match, second or third match with it in PvP. And uh, I'm a big fan. I like being able to use auto rifles now in PvP again. It's a good thing. See that rate of fire, man? That rate of fire is nuts. Just get chaining the headshots. Come on, come on, come on. You know you want to. You're dead. Oh, double. It's a Titan fight. It's a Titan fight. Got him. Oh, he was on the other side of me. Titan fight. So, what do I think about the Red Spectre? What do you think about the Red Spectre? Is anybody here? I want to know if somebody else has the Red Spectre. I don't know. I've never seen it before until it dropped for me today. I was like, what is that? That looks awesome. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Nope. Nope. Oh, come on. Jump. Tried to jump in the box. Denied me. So, like I said, guys, and this is a legendary. It's not an exotic. So, you can use this with any setup. Any setup, you'll be able to use this gun. It's really cool. Uh, I like the lore behind it. I like the fact that it's like a prototype for the Red Death. They, uh, the, the lore is that the Red Death was built on one of these frames. So I really think that's neat. I like stuff like that in the game. I'm really enjoying it. And I think it might become my, become my go-to weapon. Let's get this kill. Really? Really? Post-mortem? Something's going on with my rockets right now. They're just not landing correctly. Um, let's do a little bit more killing. Uh, talk about auto rifles in general. Uh, the the larger maps are making auto rifles a little bit harder to use. But if you know what you're doing, and you can uh, hold it steady, this one's got it's it's very decent, very very decent. Um, I will do a full crucible performance review when I get into it. Um, hopefully it'll turn out well. Ooh, got him. See, I traded with the apple, which is a, a pulse rifle. Pretty mid-range, uh, mid-impact, mid-rate of fire pulse rifle right there, and I traded with him. But I was getting consistent headshots with it. Oh, 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 oh. What are you getting me with? I don't know, because I got you. Sidearm, sidearm, sidearm. I love sidearms too. All the hot Oh, uh-uh. That that range, bungee. Please nerf again. Please nerf again. We're gonna take it to the end of this uh, match. Keep using the. Red Spectre and enjoying it. It looks, oh man, it just doesn't have the spikes. It's got everything else I want. I like it because it's actually more unique than the Red Death because everybody that's got a Red Death looks like the Red Death. Everybody that's, everybody's not going to necessarily have a Red Spectre. So, I'm a little bit more unique in that respect and their Red Spectre is not going to have the perks that mine has. Oh, come on. No. Couldn't get out of there in time. So the Red Spectre Auto Rifle, I'm gonna give it a, hmm, an A minus. I don't, I don't normally grade my guns, but I wanted to say A minus for some reason. Cause it's not an A because I haven't played with it long enough to know that I love it, but I really like, I'm really in like with it. I am in very much like with it. Ooh, could we pull this one out? Could we pull this one out? Let's take, let's take C and see if we can pull this one out. I don't think there's any way we can, but we'll try. <clears throat> Come on, Red Spectre. Give me your powers. See if I get another drop at the end of this. We're doing zone control, like I said earlier, guys. This is the Crucible uh, weekly playlist, the new one. Ah, uh, they're gonna get it. As soon as they cap one of those boys, they'll get it. Yep. Double kill to end it, though. Ooh, nope. Nope, he got me. Well, there you go, guys. That's my Red Spectre. This has been the Legendary Max video. I'm Death from Above. I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, let me know what you think. Have you gotten an... I want to know if there's any other unique weapons like this that you've gotten out of a Crucible drop. Uh, something that's cool. I didn't know this existed until it just popped up on my loot screen. I was like, what is that? That's awesome. Um, Bungie's doing a good job with this stuff. I like it. I always like looking at other people's loot. Lots of Legendary Ingrams dropping from the Crucible. So, there you go, guys. Uh, I am Death from Above. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I will see you later. See you. Bye.